So maybe she needs to understand she might be putting something out there to control him. So short term, I would tell her to back off and stop nagging him. So you're putting this on her. See, to me, that guy's got to put down the phone. Or if you're watching movies and Netflix, put it up on the TV so you can both watch it. Yeah, listen, I'm not saying it's completely her. What I'm saying we can start with her since she's the one who's unhappy. And she, instead of nagging you about it, can say, I missed you or I desire you. But really, this could be a bigger couple issue. And I would recommend that this couple sit down with a good therapist and find out what's really going on in their marriage. Because you love your iPhone, but I'm sure you're in bed with your wife. You're going to want to hang out with your wife. Hopefully. Yeah. You'd like to think so. Yeah. Our, our next question, I think you and I disagree on this one. This comes from Michelle. She writes, my best friend is single and wants to call her my husband for a family wedding she needs to attend. I implicitly trust both of them, but it still bothers me. Does that make me a terrible wife and friend? To this, I say, who asks a friend to borrow their husband? Is this normal? Okay, here I disagree because you're not a single woman floating around. There's a lot of people who can't find a date, and it's really uncomfortable going to weddings by yourself. So if you're really close, you may ask. What I'm saying to Michelle is, first of all, if she says she implicitly trusts them, and she's bothered, that's a little dissonant. So there might be something going on for her. She may not trust them as much as she wishes she did. Or she may come in with some trust issues that she never knew she had. Or maybe it's driven her not feeling good enough about herself and insecurity. But I will say, if she's uncomfortable, say no and set that boundary. I hope this doesn't become a trend. I don't want to be loaned out to anyone. <laughs> All right, our third question comes from Amy. I'm a 43-year-old woman. I've had the same best friend since middle school. Over the past few years, our lives have taken us down very different paths. She's a stay-at-home mom with three kids. I'm single and dating with a demanding career. These days, it feels forced and awkward when we see each other. Should I try to maintain this friendship or accept 